name is Martha Ross. I am a substitute teacher and just this morning I did a kindergarten lesson on the math function box. It was an introductory lesson. They have never seen a math function box before and I started out with basic facts and then went on to show them how the math function box works. Zero plus one equals one. Two plus one equals three. Seven plus one equals eight. Four plus one equals five. And ten plus one equals eleven. I don't have fancy flip charts or whiteboards, but this, as you can see, adding plus one is the same in each problem. So we have plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. In a math function box, let's say maybe someone got lazy and they didn't want to keep saying or writing plus one for each problem but they wanted to give you a number and automatically have you add one. In the math function box, you have rules. A rule, just like we have at school, would be something that we would need to follow. No running in the halls, no chewing gum. So, a rule in a math function box has the exact same meaning. So if we look here for my example, you can see a rule is to add one, exactly what we were doing before in our problem. So for our rule, let's say we'll add one. Anytime we see our arrow, right? So we've got our rule, it's going to be plus one. So if we have zero going in to our function box, we know zero goes in, our rule is add one, what comes out? One. You can also think of your function box as a machine. If I put two into the machine, what comes out of the machine? We know there's a rule and we know our rule is to add one. So two add one is three. If we have seven in our math function box, seven is going in, we add one because we see is arrow, which is our rule. Seven plus one equals eight. Our next rule would be four plus one equals five. And our final function, our in number is 10. 10 going into our math function box plus one equals 11. This is very simple and basic. This rule can change depending on the type of problem that you have. And as you get older and out of kindergarten, you will see that this add one could be to subtract numbers. They might even try and trick you and instead of giving you the in number, maybe try and give you an out number. So you knew what came out and you have to go backwards and figure out what came in. So the math function box is just an easy, simple form so instead of saying plus one, plus one for every problem, you create a rule. And we all know we have to follow rules. Just like we do in school, we have rules with our math function box. Thanks.